Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning, February 7th, the seventh day of Vlogantines. And I am up, got, just got Ralphie and it's an off to school because I take them to school on Monday, Tuesday, Monday's off and Brad is to sleep in a little bit. Today though, he's going to have to wake up here in a while. I have to now go get in the shower and then um, we have to go do a bunch of different things today. We have an appointment for our tax at 2 o'clock. Then we have to meet Ralphie's teacher after school uh, to meet her because he switched his teachers. I believe Brad told you that already. He switched a different teacher. So far, so good. He uh, said he had a really good day yesterday. He's He uh, already came in and started interacting with the other kids like he's been there the whole year. So the, she said he's doing really good. He didn't move a star at all yesterday. So fingers crossed. He does better in this class so he said he likes the teacher so we'll see how it does how it goes but we're gonna meet her she emailed us and wanted to uh, meet with us sometime just to kind of introduce herself and stuff since uh, we haven't met her yet so we're gonna do that after school I think we're gonna see if our neighbor can watch Ralphie real quick while we do that after school and then uh, I think that's about it we just have little errands here and there that we have to do today there's a new Menards store. Menards is kind of like a Home Depot, Lowe's type of store. They just opened up one um, real close to us. And they have a sale going on now on um, some of their stuff. They have some flooring that's on sale really good, which we need new flooring in the kitchen and the living room. We want some laminate, like uh, some kind of wood laminate flooring. We're not sure what exactly kind we want. We're just gonna look and see. We want to use our income tax money for that. So um, we're just gonna look and see what we can do because we won't get our income tax money back for another month or so. So um, we'll kind of see when we go get our taxes done, how much we're gonna be getting back for that because that needs to be done really bad. And we also need lights in the both bathrooms because they stay on for like 30 seconds and then they go off and there's something wrong with them, so we need new light fixtures for both the bathrooms. We have like one to two little, there's like five, six across in our bathroom and only two of them works. And in this bathroom, there's four across and only one works. So you have light for just 30 seconds and then it gets really dark. So we need to uh, go over there and see what they have, um, what kind of cells they have going on in those. And then um, I think that's it. We'll come back home and do dinner and homework and all that fun stuff. So, okay, I'm going to get in the shower, but first, I'm melting some wax today. So, I'm melting in the living room. I do a lot of bakery since like in the, like February and stuff. So I'm doing brownie pecan pie in the living room. I have three cubes for my centerpiece and three cubes for my regular warmer. This brownie pecan pie smells good. It's definitely chocolate. And you do get that nutty pecan note in there. It smells really good. And then in the bedroom, I started this yesterday. And then I turned it off because I lit my candles. Because usually when I have candles lit, I don't have the wax melts going at the same time. Because to me, that's just a little bit too much. Unless the scents kind of go together. But usually I just, I turn the wax melts off if I have my candles going. So, but in the daytime, sometimes I'll melt the wax melts if we're in and out, not home and stuff. So I have soft cashmere amber for the bedroom, and this was really good too. But I think I'm, I wanted a little bit stronger, so I think I'm gonna put a few more. I put three cubes in there, but I think I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put the other three in there, and then it'll just, it'll fill the whole cup up. Because I've done that before. Usually, this is a Yankee milk cup. Three cubes of uh, Better Homes and Gardens fills it up halfway, and the other three fills it up all the way, just like a regular milk cup would be. Maybe just a little bit fuller. So, I'm gonna do that. I'll put my uh, wax melts in here. I'll put my three there for my electric warmer. 
and turn that on. And then my three and my centerpiece up on the fireplace up here. Oh, I have something in there. Uh, what was that? What was that? I can't remember what that was. I forget. <laughs> something, uh, something fresh. I think it was one of my winter ones. I think I just talked about that in my empties video, but I can't remember what it was. Something winter. So, put that in there, and then I just turned it on back here. And then uh, I'll do this one in the bedroom. But I'm not gonna go in there right now because Brad's asleep. I'm not going in there, but I'm not gonna film in there. I'll go sneak that in there. He's asleep though, so I'll let him sleep just a little bit longer while I get in the shower. All right, so I took a shower, got ready. Brad's awake. Good morning. We were just talking about cereal. I made Raisin Bran, my Raisin Bran with cranberries. And I put a little bit of sugar on there. Or I said, I know you're not putting sugar on there. He said he doesn't put sugar on his raisin bread. My mom says she doesn't put sugar on her raisin bread either. I normally put a little bit of sugar in my raisin bread. I put sugar in my raisin bread, uh, Cheerios, corn flakes, bran flakes, things like that. I tried it last week without sugar in my raisin bread with the cranberries. And it wasn't too bad because the raisin bread and the cranberries sweeten it up some. But still, I wanted just a little bit sweeter. I don't put a lot of sugar, just a little bit. Like a little bitty bit of a half of that little spoon there. I just sprinkle it on the top there, just sweeten it up a little bit. So, just curious, comment below how many of you put sugar on your raisin bran? Or do you not put sugar on your raisin bran? Because Marco was late. Do what? Marco yeah. was absent in math. Was he late? Mm, no, not that I know of. Well, I'm calling school to see why he wasn't in math. Third hour. Third hour? Mm -hmm. We should have been there by third hour. If anything, it would have been late on the first hour, but then if you rode the bus, you'd be on time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that would get notified that he was absent from class and it's not right. So we'll have to figure out what happened there. Third hour is right about now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think so. Probably. We'll have to figure out what happened. Probably just a little fluke. All right, so we're out and about. We're up on this mountain. Oh, it's windy out. It's windy out today, so I gotta talk loud in case you can't hear me through the wind. I'm I mean, going to Menards. I mean hill, not mountain. Some brand new Menards that opened up uh, last week, I think. So we're gonna check it out. See if they have any good deals. I got a lot of sales going on this week, the first week of grand opening. It's like a Home Depot, Lowe's type of store. Okay. Are you registering? Maybe this is what we need to do is register and maybe mom will start buying this stuff. <laughs> yeah. The lady when we walked in the door, I wasn't blogging, but she said, Welcome to Walmart. <laughs> She goes, she was just talking about Walmart, the lady over here and I had it in my head. So they got some lights. We need to get some lights for the bathroom, like I said earlier. chandeliers. So we've picked two lights we think we like. We picked this one here. I show you up on the wall where it is, but it's hard to see. It's way high up. It's that one there. That's for our bathroom because there's six in our bathroom. But that 
Oh, I didn't know it was five. Okay, it's five. We have six in ours, but five will work. And then the hallway bathroom, we got this one for the hallway bathroom. It's got four lights in the hallway bathroom. So, let me show you real quick, if you can see. It's the, uh, over here, over here, over here, over here. The one we got is the very, one of the very, very, very top for the, our bathroom. You can't see it, it's way high up there. And then the one, excuse me, the one we got for the hallway bathroom is the third one from the top in the middle there. And then ones we have right now are just these, like this with the round balls. That's what we have right now. So uh, we got the other ones, so hopefully they'll look good and we'll get them all hooked up. So we looked at the flooring and they didn't seem like they had much choices here. They only had two rows and that was it. And the other ones we like were on sale. They have groceries here too. That's different. So look, here's the washer dryer. Brad wants a front loading washer and dryer. Because it'll stack and you have room to put aside to put storage like a vacuum so it's not in the basement. I don't want a gas stove. Yeah, I would, gas stove I would like a gas stove because it, I've never cooked on a gas stove, but I like the, uh, what's the other one called? This is the gas stove. Brad wants like that. Or like this. <clears throat> we used to have a stove just like this at our apartments, whatever that's called. But now we have just the uh, just the flat one that has nothing on it, just warms up like this. We have one like this, but we have a problem with the stuff not cooking right and it doesn't lay right on there sometimes. I'm not a big fan of those. <clears throat> yeah. Got all the outdoor furniture back there. Some grills. Brad's filling out something. A giveaway. What's the giveaway for? $500 credit check. Or a power painter or a nailer, or a bike, or a merchandise certificate. So we asked about the faucet because this is the faucet we kind of want for the kitchen. This one right there. I like the tall, how it's tall like that. But we kind of like this one over here. Where's it at? Oh, I don't know where the other one was. There's another one we liked, but it had uh, two handles like that. But that one just has that one handle on, on the side. And we're kind of used to just the one handle there. So we're going to see if they have that one. And it's on sale too. She's going to check the back. So they didn't have the faucet we wanted, but we got a little sorry slip. So that means it's like a rain check. So if they have it in next time, we'll get it at that sale price. So. Gonna hurry, hurry up and check out here because we have to go to our tax appointment at 2 o'clock. We got home. Picked up the boys. Marco's doing some homework. Rafi's over there playing. Just got done reading with him. Now we're fixing dinner and what? Dinner at 5.16? That never happens. We're having beef cutlets with shake and bake this crunchy pretzel shake and bake is really good we've had it many times we love it it's really good on chicken or pork or beef cutlets whatever you just dip it in there it tastes really good and then we're having just some cream corn and mashed potatoes with it all right it's the end of the vlog for today i was in the bedroom laying there watching some tv in the bedroom but then i dozed off and started falling asleep so I woke up and I still have to edit yesterday's vlog yet, so I came out here to the living room because 
I was afraid I would doze off again if I stayed in the bedroom, so came out here and I'm gonna do the vlog real quick, then I'll go back to bed. Brad is already in bed. Um because if I don't do it now, it's probably not gonna get done tomorrow because I have to go to work tomorrow morning and I don't have to be rushed to do it tomorrow morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it now so I can um get that done and then head to bed to go back to work tomorrow. This weekend went really super short. I feel like I was just off yes my weekend just started now it's already over. So anyway, that's the way it goes sometimes. So alright, thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you all tomorrow for Vlogantines Day number eight. Good night.